Today we're gonna make a video that is a little bit different but uh, nevertheless uh, very important. Uh, I haven't seen many videos out there where, where they tell you what dogs cannot eat. Uh, as for uh, for what you can give the dog, I just recommend uh, high-class dog food from well-known uh, producers. Mm. So for Kina right now, I are testing out this new stuff here from Sweden. This is supposed to be for sensitive dogs. This one is salmon and rice. And the other one here is reindeer. Uh, she likes them both, but uh, she doesn't like all kinds of all the manufacturers. This one she likes. So maybe I'll stick to that. But today is about human things that uh, dogs cannot eat. Uh, Christmas is over and typical uh, a lot, lot of dogs get diarrhea because of being fed very fat food. Uh, pork ribs with too much fat and and also salty meat uh, in Norway there is a tradition very very common with either pork ribs on Christmas Eve or uh, lamb ribs that have been salted sometimes smoked and anything salt is not good for for dogs Kina so uh, I'm gonna gonna just read up a, a list here. Uh, well, if you if your dog have digestion problem, this this is a product that I use to uh, to calm the stomach. It's called Sulac. It's a pro paste. Uh, so I think there are some some positive bacteria in this that calms the stomach. And the bacteria is Lactobacillus, Pedio, Cucus and Bacillus. I have no idea what these are. But these are thermostable bacteria. And there is some vegetable oil in it too. Anyway, these these bacteria are good for dogs' digestion. Uh, so I always have uh, this laying around. You never know when you need it. Sometimes when we are out, you may find something that in the on the ground that she eats. So, but over to the the food stuff that uh, dogs shouldn't be eating. Starting up with alcohol, that is pretty self-explaining. And then we have apple seeds or cores. The apple itself is not dangerous, but the, the seeds are. They can uh, actually develop cyanide dog stomach. Avocado is one that uh, dogs should not be eaten at all. Baking powder. Cooked meat with bones. Uh, if, the, if the meat has been cooked with the bones on, uh, there's a chance that they can brittle in the dog's digestion system and cause internal bleedings. Some of these quite serious. Candy or sweets, 
course cherries uh, chicken skin it says here uh, there was some uh, some st some scandals a couple of years ago regarding f chicken for dogs it seemed like some of these producers were using products or chicken from from the far east and um, uh, there was something with the chicken that caused uh, the dogs to have a severe and deadly and very painful uh, liver disease uh, even in Budeher we had some some cases so I'm very careful when, when I give her chicken products I, uh, I want to give her chicken but only chicken that has been produced here in the Nordic countries so and then we have chili pepper and of course chocolate if your dog is uh, by accident has eaten chocolate uh, try to assess how much and go to the veterinary as soon as possible as this can be little uh, doesn't seem har harmful but it is for dogs uh, citrus fruits grapes and lemons chives coffee cookies traditional cookies contains a lot of <laughs> stuff corn on the cob and here I am back to the fat and greasy food dippings garlic and onions are no good gravy hoops ice cream there might be some artificial sweetener in it I know you can buy some ice cream designed for dogs that contains not nothing harmful to them I've given it to her a few times and the reception has been so and so uh, it could be of course good when it's really uh, hot outside but she kale macadamia nuts milk some dogs have uh, like many humans lactose intolerances and can have a really upset stomach by it so mustard seed nutmeg onions and leeks i mentioned onions already pizza that's unfair isn't it huh. no pizza for you peaches plums and another bad one raisins and grapes never give it to them um, raw fish it says and well um, it can contain, contain some uh, some bacteria that are not good for them and even some worms but uh, uh, if you get some s products from a dog food producer I guess that they, they are safe and also I wouldn't hesitate too much uh, with the fish up here in Norway I don't think that is a problem they have been feeding dogs for with fish for centuries <laughs> so raw potatoes raw pork products rhubarb is another one we knew that the dogs couldn't eat rhubarb, salt, sugary drinks, uh, tea, 
unripe tomatoes, wild mushrooms. Uh, I wouldn't recommend any human to pick a mushroom unless you and eat them unless you really know what you're what about mushrooms uh, can be potentially lethal for both humans and dogs. So uh, unless you know a lot about mushrooms, don't pick wild mushrooms. And here in Norway, when you pick mushroom, you can have them uh, checked by experts to make sure that you don't get the wrong kind. But still every year there are some people that are being Poisoned by by mushroom. The, okay, the Vikings, Viking berserks, they ate mushroom to <laughs> become even more crazy. And uh, some drug addicts too, they go for a certain kind of mushroom. It grows everywhere. Yeast. And uh, I would also add uh, dough to the to the list, and silitol or any artificial uh, sweetener, really. And then uh, we have, of course, uh, yeah, coffee, coffee, coffee. There, there is a list of. A broccoli, yeah, that's another one. Okay. Don't feed your kids and don't feed your, <laughs> at least not your dogs, broccoli. And the list of plants that uh, is harmful for the dog is long. Some of these are common here, onion, garlic, but uh, crocus is quite a normal plant and uh, lupines uh, they grow everywhere lilies and tulips so to to read up all these Uh, plants is as a lot. Probably most of them is is no. Yeah, I see here potato is on the list. Solarum tuberosum is the Latin word for it. So uh, yeah, a lot. If you want to know more, I recommend this book here. This is particular for Dog du Bordeaux, but uh, again, uh, it uh, concerns all dogs. <laughs> or at least all the, all the dogs that I know of. There is uh, so some uh, this is a dog breed in Kashmir, that's a vegetarian. But I guess that is the exception that confirms the theory. Yeah. Yes, it's a cook bones are almost more likely to shatter. You don't want that. And cherries okay, can contain uh, cyanide. Chicken skin. Oh, they can upset the dog's uh, stomach or even uh, pancreas. Pan pancreatis. So there's a web page here I'm I'm looking at Love Your Dog 
where you can read in more details what what your dog shouldn't be eating. But of course, sweets are okay. Sweets are okay. Ah, can you kind of sit? Yeah, I think. And dog bowl nuggets. That's good stuff. So now you see. Some of these are, are very common and probably people don't don't know about them. Well, they, <coughs> the, with the cookies, it's the increased calorie intake. Well, and, uh, Swallowing a whole piece of corn cob can have serious consequences. It's not toxic, toxic. So they can eat sweet corn, apparently. Uh, and garlic is definitely toxic for them. Or any, it's a, the garlic is member of the alum 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 group so they they will be toxic so that's a short or relative short list of what dogs should not be eating hope it can be helpful for for anybody who's wondering and if not uh, i recommend this Two books I have the dog the Bordeaux well, book and lots of nice pictures and you have one the French Mastiff uh, dog the Bordeaux owners manual don't come with them but there are some useful information to pick up there but some of it is very general and I'm not so sure that the Ones that wrote this are actually Dog de Bordeaux owners, but still they are useful. Okay.